cultural phenomenon. The artist behind the show is Reichel himself, who had chosen to collaborate with several performers of multicultural backgrounds, turning his project into an extraordinary ethnical experience. <laughs> The project uh, was founded uh, 10 years ago. We have singers from Germany in this album, from Portugal, from Mali, from Israel. Some classical arrangements and some electronic bits. We just continued this road. Reichel is performing throughout the summer at the Amphitheater in Caesarea. His newest album is called A Quarter to Six. This album uh, reflects a crossroad of life. Uh, the hour quarter to six in Israel is the hour that you always feel that it's like the end of the day, beginning of the, of the evening. You can always feel that it's, a, it's kind of a melancholic or, or sometimes people see it as a very happy new beginning for the night. His ethnic songs, his rhythm and electronic beat uplift the spirits of his fans. You normally find him by his piano, relaxed and soothing with his soft words as he sings away and leads his crew. You write beautiful music and beautiful lyrics. What drives you to write them? The story of the songs can be inspired by a random meeting with someone from the street, or it can be uh, some story of a band member. It can be. It can start from a melody that that. Uh, ends towards lyrics. It can be by reading the Bible, which is the most inspiring book, um, even if you're not religious. Reichel's project has changed the face of Israeli music due to his collaborations with other artists, his unique voice, lyrics, and style. His music is performed in Hebrew, Spanish, Arabic, Amharic, and Swahili. Now, most performers like to take stage and perform solo, and yet you give stage to other artists. I think that this is the magic of the Dan Reichel project. Till today, we've recorded uh, and performed with over 95 musicians and singers. The youngest member in the project is 16, and the elders are 83 and 91. Um, all of them uh, are people with passion to do what we do. I feel that I'm a director of a, of a, of a film or of many scenes, and for each scene we, we cast the, the perfect uh, actor, the per perfect uh, uh, extras, uh, building the right set for the scene. In the past, you used to work with Ethiopian immigrants. How did that affect your music? Every 10 or 15 years, there is a new immigration that changes the face of the Israeli society. But I don't see my, my drummer as my Iraqi drummer, and I don't see my singer as my Ethiopian singer. I think that this is the magic that we're creating with this melting pot and bringing the, the sound of, the, of this multicultural nation on, on stage. to cross the borders of Israel with your music and appeal to an international audience. Why do you think that is? The biggest compliment that we ever got is from people from, from, from the media in the state that described the, the Idan Reichel project as the soundtrack of Israel at the past decade. I think that if people um, listen to this music, no matter where, and it sounds to them the soundtrack of Israel, for us it's the biggest compliment. This little place in the Middle East, is all the magic of it is about the melting pot. This new country that became one of the most interesting uh, multicultural nations. I feel that uh, we, we just continue this road, every interesting door that we see, we just enter and we check what we can, what we can do. It's a great show. I enjoy it very much and uh, I'm, I'm speechless. Uh, 
Rachel is a great performer. I love him very much. I love his work. This is my first concert, but I really like him. And I think he's really special, the way he does his music. We never even dreamt to sold us this amazing, amazing, legendary place for a few nights in a row. So there's no much to ask. Just to thank God that, uh, that we are lucky to have this. Reichel made sales records in Israel and sold over half a million records worldwide. His music appeals to audiences of multiple cultures, genders, and generations, thus making him a national asset to Israeli music and culture. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv in Caesarea, Israel.